your soul shines. So if you watched Finish Friday, you may know that I'm wearing pretty much the same thing. Exactly the same thing, even down to the purple slippers. Because now it is 14 minutes until midnight Thursday night. But I wanted to record this while I was here, while I was recording, so that tomorrow I don't have to worry about recording two videos. And that is, yo, did you see it? <laughs> you had a glimpse. You had a glimpse. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to do it this way. Okay. First of all, there's its back. Check out that tail. And it's got, you can see its ears and its little legs and stuff. And are you ready for this? I don't know if you are, guys. <laughs> okay. So the main yarn is the gray. I added the black for the mouth and the eyes. But the eyes there are the, um, there was a cake that had green and yellow in it, green, yellow, and white. And that is from that, and as is this green nose, is from that cake. This green here is from the, in the, if you want to go up here, you can see the yarn reveal and get information about it. In that one, I'm pretty sure I said that the green was a wash it away. But I found out when I was doing my slipper tutorial that it is actually a DK weight. So that is the other thing I don't have right here with me. But the other thing I did with this green yarn, so it kind of counts as a mystery yarn challenge, is um, I started slippers. Um, and I do show it in Things We're Making Thursday. So I'll put that up here too so you can go see the green yarn in use. Um, so that is three of the yarns. I had a gray yarn, I had the cake that had the green and yellows in it, and I had the green yarn. But that's not all folks, we're missing one. And this would not be a complete project if there were not all of the yarns. So there was more, one more yarn, so I have something to show you. Hold on. He's a little naky, guys. He's got to get dressed. Because I made him a sweater. I'll let you see the back first. Because I like to show the back, apparently. The back of the sweater. Um, This is mostly knit, but they're, the sleeves, I ended up doing a crochet. <coughs> I'm sorry. I crocheted his sleeves. And then um, I didn't like the way that my cast off was here at the bottom. So I went through and did a little single crochet type thing at the bottom of that. And so um, mostly his sweater is knit. Um, all of his body is crocheted. His eyes and nose are a embroidery technique. And then his ears are both, they're all crocheted too. And his tail is actually a crocheted eye cord. It looks like a knitting eye cord because I did it with three crochet hooks. Very fascinating technique, but much faster than trying to knit it. All right, now we are missing a yarn, guys. There were four yarns. This is a part of that cake that had the, you can even tell it has some green right here. This was a part of the cake that had the green and the gold. And here we go. Here's the other one. It's that sparkle. Can you see it sparkle there? I don't know that you can pick up the sparkle, guys. Remove it here. There, if we go like that. Even though it's blurry, there's a little bit of the sparkle in there. Anyway, that's a sparkle yarn, and I knit this, I knit the bow, and I sewed it onto the sweater so it doesn't get lost. And so there you go, guys. Isn't that so, so cute? Let me make sure his ties all straightened up. Um, that was fun. It was a very fun little make. He's got little stubby arms, little stubby things. Um, I think he's adorable. At first I was like, oh no, he's kind of creepy, but oh my gosh, he grew on me. Kind of a cat. Kind of a, I don't know, before his nose was on, he looked like a pig. Um, that was funny. And, you know, he is what he is. Um, my daughter has already claimed it. She tends to like to claim my stuffies. I don't know what her kids are going to do because they're going to, like, fight over the stuffies. 
anyway, that's the mystery yarn challenge for you guys. Isn't it adorable? He is so fun. And my plans are to make a scarf. I've already been looking to, not a scarf, a shawl. Um, this was shawl and a ball, and I've already been looking for patterns because I want to make a shawl and the ball. Um, and this, I'm not, oh, uh oh, I see that. Apparently, that, I find sometimes knitting ends are harder to weave in. Um, if I had a sharper needle, it would have been easier. Sharp needles help with knitting for sure. Anyway, um, this yarn here, I want to make something, but I'm not sure what. I really like the greens. Really like the greens. I don't know. And then I'm making slippers with a little pom-pom thingy. Got the oh hey look I've got part of the sh the like this little green is from the this cake that had the yellow and green in it see it matches his nose but it doesn't quite match up here and that's okay um it's a little bit more yellow than this this green um. I got the pom poms here that I'm putting on my slippers for Tinkerbell. But I don't have any of the other stuff. I don't have any of the yarn clothes black. Sorry, guys. <sighs> All right. Well, that was kind of a rambly kind of video. I apologize for that. Maybe you like that. I don't know. But I felt a little rambly. Um, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they will be. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.